So without further ado, I'm really excited to introduce um, Olivia Blake MP to give us our first kind of contribution of the evening. Thank you so much, Chris, and thank you so much for inviting me to talk. I'm so excited um, for the discussion this evening because I think it is a really important one. Now, I've been in quite a reflective mood because this week it's a year since I was elected and it's kind of made me think about those dark and dreary nights and the snow, sleet and hail and rain that we had in the December election up here in Sheffield Hallam um, and how we use that campaign to really focus on the Green New Deal and how popular it was with voters right across um, the political spectrum and I think because our campaign focused so heavily on what Labour's messages were um, from the 2019 manifesto around a green industrial uh, revolution and a green new deal, we really managed to cut through um, on a level which a lot of voters um, and supporters of other parties actually considered voting for us. So I think even though I've only got a um, majority of around 700 votes, every vote was hard won um, and part of that was going out and speaking specifically um, about the climate crisis and what a Labour government would do uh, to um, get us out of the crisis that we're currently in. Um, since being elected I've been quite vocal on a lot of different issues to do with uh, the climate emergency but I think it's really important when we're having this conversation that we recognise that actually this is a crisis of uh, duality if you like between nature and climate so I've also been quite active on talking about biodiversity and the risks to our environment and ecology so um, I think that the question that's kind of been posed tonight is Labour going going backwards on, on our stance. I, I mean, my kind of answer to that is I hope not. And um, as a Labour MP, I would I would fight <laughs> that kind of accusation tooth and nail because I think that it is recognised by the Labour Party now how important this issue is. And I think that actually this, um, this document from Ed um, is actually quite a useful tool at the moment in our response to the COVID emergency. And I'd just like to draw out a couple of things. So I'm um, leading the charge really on peatland restoration um, and have had a debate in parliament and I've been doing a lot of work in this area to try and force the government to bring forward their peatland strategy. Um, and you might be like, what am I talking about? What is peatland? Um, if you go to my website, there's a really good Q&A that I did with uh, Richard Lindsay from uh, University of East London. So you can find out all the details of that on there. But essentially, uh, there are these big fires um, on our moorlands, which are causing vast amounts, millions and millions of tonnes of, um, of carbon to go into our atmosphere. And actually, peatlands store more carbon than any other form of vegetation which is an incredible fact and we're really lucky to have them and they need to be protected so with that in mind how are we going to manage that and I think that's a really key question for me we need to do a lot of investment in kind of protecting our natural kind of sinks and sources almost um, of carbon to kind of help us in this challenge and also maintain the biodiversity that we need and also help protect against things like flooding. So what I really think is kind of key that's come out of this document is the kind of uh, Rooseveltian kind of approach to um, the national um, National, oh, I've forgotten the NNS, which is a really national nature service, which I think is a really key area that we could look at and really putting skills and giving skills to young people, young black, Asian and minority ethnic people um, who have been hardest hit by this, um, this economic and, and um, health crisis that we're facing at the moment with COVID. And I think that the reason I'm so excited about that is it would really, really help us in um in our in our way in our battle to kind of protect these areas, but also to to widen conservation and um, to make these jobs, public sector jobs, well-paid jobs, they're actually having a massive benefit in our 
um, ability to tackle climate crisis. So I think just in that small little phase of the, the report, I think it's really important that we develop that idea. And I'm really pleased to kind of jump on that idea and, and think about ways in which we can strengthen that to make sure that, um, that everything is happening um, that needs to be happening in that space. I think there is a lot of issues that, um, you know, we could talk about tonight, which I'd be very open to talking in the later discussion. Um, but I really think that we need to be focused on on the fact that um, this is a sharp response um, to the situation we're currently in. And of course, we need a longer term plan that's more than this uh, policy document about this recovery if we are going to achieve what we need to achieve in this area. Um, and I think it's really important that the Labour Party continues to, to debate these issues, continues to work on policy. I'm working as hard as I can with colleagues across um, across the Labour Party to come up with, uh, come up with ideas and policy uh, ways of working to really drive this forward and I'm hoping that everyone here will continue to contribute as I know you do in a fantastic way um, to that debate and also to make sure that we don't shift on this ground because I think actually I don't get the sense from the front bench that that is what they that they're doing I think that they are committed and they just need to know that they've got the support of members like you um, and um, pe just ordinary people right across the board to make sure that this is absolutely front and centre of us going into the next election um, because I've proved in my seat that we weren't expecting to win. Everyone wrote us off that actually if you talk about the climate crisis it matters to everyone because we all live on one planet and, it, and we've only got one chance to get this right um, and we're wasting precious time we do not have. So um, that's kind of my first kind of few thoughts on the issue but I think there's a lot of scope that we can we can do and go on to develop um, and I'm really excited to be part of that and I'm really pleased to be able to be pushing some of these ideas down in Westminster against and you know the Conservatives who really are focusing on the wrong areas in my view so I think it's about keeping us grounded keeping us anchored and making sure that we're winning the argument going forward.